Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today we're going to have a quick review of the Ishi E58 or the Tiny Mavic. Hi, welcome back. Today we've got the Eosheen E58 Folding Drone or Mini Mavic. And it really does look like a Mini Mavic. It's very cute. It's really, it actually finished off really nice. It's got this kind of rubberized coating on it. It's very light. Um, it obviously isn't a Mavic. Um, you've got LED on the back, you've got this on the top which looks like a battery monitor but isn't, it's just for sure and two bright white LEDs on the front now if you're wondering why when I've turned it upside down it does that because it will kill the motors which is a great thing so it'll kill the motors when it's upside down it's gone flat, it's gone red again so yeah, this is your controller They've gone again for the bit, a bit like the Mavic. I don't like these controllers because I don't like the phone holder at the bottom. So you've got take off and land. Um, your normal fare is um, throttle on, it's a, it's a mode 2 this one so it's got throttle on the right. You're on your left. Roll on your right stick and then left and right and then up and down gives you your forward and backwards. Uh, rate switch is on the back and the camera buttons. So, the reason I don't like these controllers is because of this. These have a pull out thing at the bottom. You can hear how cheap and nasty it feels. And I'm, don't get me wrong, I know a lot of controllers have this now and it's one of them things you've got to get used to I suppose because it's going to be, it's a way forward by the looks. But if you're going to fold with buttons on the side like I have, every time I put it in it seems to knock the buttons. Put it in this side, it knocks the buttons, and it can turn my phone off, or it blacks my screen out, or it makes the volume control go crazy. I, and I don't think it holds that well in it anyway, so I don't fly with the apps. Um, I haven't, fl I don't really fly this with the app, but because I don't like putting the phone in, or oh, I tend to put the phone on my knee if I'm flying. So this is the app. I'll just show you the app. So the app is. The JY UFO app. It's downloadable on the Android and Play Store. It's your typical type UFO app, but you need this is the one that works best. You can put it on some others, but it doesn't seem to work properly. Hit play, there you go. So we're now connected to the app, as you can see. It has a bit of latency. But it's kind of what you expect on one of these. Drones. This thing was under thirty pound with two batteries. So, so this is your app. You got settings. You've got on and off, so you can fly this with your with your phone. You got fly it by gyro mode. You've got your rate three hundred and sixty flip button. Go and have a look at your videos and photos that you've taken. Videos, photos. The app's a very standard app. Uh, a lot of things have these and you can do some settings, you can reverse the camera, you can split your screen so you can have it for 3D goggles, um, headless mode, your typical stuff. So, that's the app. So, this has been out quite a bit now um, and the reason I've review I'm reviewing it is because Especially in the last few weeks I've been doing stuff um, for beginners and this is definitely a beginner's drone because it's very very easy to fly it's not as smooth as the Vizio I, I prefer the Vizio but this is smaller it's cheaper and it has it correct better so what do I mean by that is so when you're flying about when you're new you want it if you let go of the sticks you want it to rock back you want it to come back so if you're flying sideways and you let go of the sticks you want it to correct itself this thing corrects itself like you flicked a switch so normally when you correct yourself it'll do that this thing does that which is great when you're a beginner because it's quite foolproof once you've got it up in the air and it's flying with its altitude hold as long as you keep the altitude up there you can just do what you want and play with it and get to used to the sticks and feel confident with it and with this you can it's a really nice little drone for the money it comes with your charger, it comes with prop guards and I bought mine in the pack with 
two batteries. You can buy something called a fly more combo for this, which actually comes with three or four batteries and a little case you can put it in. I've only seen it recently. Um, so it's a bit like the Mavic Pro fly more combo. But it's good value, I think it's only about £55. So you might, it's good value. So I just got it with two batteries. You get about eight minutes flight time out of it. Now, the only thing I do like is pop guards. So I, I don't I don't fly with pop guards, but I think pop guards are great and invaluable tool for learning. And these ones are particularly nice. So they just clip in place like that. Okay, threw me to be a liar this morning. Sorry, you flick them from the underneath. And what I like about them is they don't take up the whole quad. They don't take up the whole side. They're just small enough to stop you doing that and banging it into walls. They're also extremely flexible and they pop off, which is important. You, what you don't want is a prop guard that's that tough that it's going to bend the frame or bend, snap the prop guard. You want something that's going to take the impact but also can flick out on the impact. These are really good. And when you're flying these outdoors, they're not going to take, if the wind, if you've got a little bit of wind, these aren't going to be as affected by it as the big ones are that you normally see on drones. So, I'll probably have included some flight footage by now down below. The flight footage was taken indoor because the weather's turned unfortunately here and I wanted to get this review out so I've had to fly it indoors. It's just to give you a brief look at what the camera looks like when it's recorded and also to show you how stable it is indoors. Outdoors, in no wind, it's very, very similar to how I'm going to fly it today. Um, if you've got a bit of a breeze, yeah, there's movement, you have to correct it. But it is a really nice drone for the money. Um, you can't really go wrong. Like I say, for £30 that I paid, under 30 I think it was, you can't really go wrong with it. It's a great value drone and great for getting people into the hobby. If you're an experienced flyer, would you get one? Probably, just have a bit of fun with because it is fun. Um, the camera's good for what it is. You've got a bit of latency. It can take a bit of a beating. I've crashed this a few times and it doesn't seem to want to snap the arms or anything. I mean, it, when I first got this, I thought it looks a bit flimsy, but it seems to take the impact well. So, that's it, it's a quicker video today. I just wanted to do a quick review of this. I know it's been out a while, but I just wanted to get my opinions of it because I am doing the drones for beginners bit at the minute so thanks very much for watching if you haven't subscribed please do consider it if you have subscribed thank you ever so much for your support and have a fantastic day